Hello, everybody. It's Wednesday, May 23rd, 2018, and this is News Break, and I'm Alex Bennett. And at the top of the news once again, guess what? Donald Trump. He's always at the top of the news. I'm so sick and tired of him monopolizing the news. Maybe I just won't mention anything he does anymore. Anyway, he opened the door Tuesday to a phased dismantling of North Korea's nuclear weapons program, backing away from his demand that North Korean leader Kim Jong uh, completely abandon his arsenal without any reciprocal American concessions. So he's backing off. Meanwhile, he was hosting the South Korean President Moon Jae-in at the White House Tuesday. Donald Trump didn't get a blowjob on this occasion from him, but will in the future. It's been negotiated. He tempered expectations for his planned meeting to North Korean's leader. Trump said he believes Kim is serious about denuclearization, but added the June 12th meeting may not happen if certain conditions can't be met. Meanwhile, that hasn't stopped our administration from doing this. Look at what these are. Those, <laughs> yes, those are commemorative coins for our meeting in North Korea. It hasn't even taken place yet. It may not even happen, but already the American taxpayer has paid for coins. I don't know where they pass these out, but maybe he can wear one around his neck instead of the Nobel Prize, which he obviously isn't going to win. What a waste of money. Wow. 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 Uh, let me see here. The U.S. House of Representatives Tuesday passed a bill to ease regulations placed on community banks and regional lenders put in place by the 2010 Dodd-Frank Dodd Dodd-Frank Act, the Wall Street Reform Act and Consumer Protection Act, was a massive piece of financial reform legislation that was passed by the Obama administration intended to decrease, de decrease I'm having a speech impediment problem today, intended to decrease various risks in the U.S. financial system. So back to more risk in the U.S. financial system. Thank you, Congress. A federal judge ruled in favor of Gavin Grimm. He's now 19. He's out of high school, but he's transgender teen in his years-long fight to use the boys' bathroom at his high school. He sued the Gloucester County School Board after it passed a rule allowing students only to use the bathroom of the gender to which they were born. Uh, the American Civil Liberties Union has demanded Amazon Stop marketing facial recognition technology. It's called recognition with a K, which is powerful and powered by artificial intelligence to government agencies citing possible civil rights violations. In some groping news today, 10 McDonald's employees are suing the restaurant chain, saying they were groped, propositioned for sex, and subject to an indecent exposure while at work. No word on how bad the food was. And the TV event's going to take place Sunday. Yes, one you may have um, missed out on knowing. Uh, May 27th will bring to the end a 54-year tr television tradition. The event will be ABC's final broadcast of the Indianapolis 500 after a run that goes all the way back to the wide, wide world of sports. Remember that show? Back in 1965. From here on in, you'll have to watch it over on NBC. In obituaries today, Philip Roth, prize-winning novelist and fearless narrator of uh, sex and death and assimilation and fate, from comic madness of Portnoy's complaint to the lyricism of a marrying pastoral, died Tuesday night at 85. And here's one for the books and somebody you may remember, Clint Walker. Do you remember the name? Well, he was briefly a television star, briefly a movie star, and continued to have somewhat of a career throughout his life. He starred as the TV cowboy Cheyenne Bodie for seven seasons on ABC. Uh, Walker died Monday from congestive heart failure. He was 90. And now for our picture of the day. It seems that Jacob Kaczynski of Charleston graduated summa cum laude with the highest honors you can possibly get from a Christian-based homeschooling program. And his mother wanted to celebrate the occasion, so she went out to Publix and bought a cake. Well, the store's bakery refused to print. Are you ready for this? Summa cum laude on their son's graduation cake, confusing the term for profanity. Look at what they did there. 
XX. It'll just kind of a da dash, dash, dash instead of C U M. Yes, it's summa cum laude. The people at Publix, of course, are incredible morons. And finally, for our video today, we go to last night's panel and a discussion. <laughs> You're going to love this. A discussion uh, we had about sex. Listen here. How many here have paid attention to your parents' genitalia? Oh, fuck no. No. You did, You did, Ray? Yeah, my because my dad... Oh, I can't believe I'm about to say this. My yeah. dad used to walk around in like a Speedo and stuff at home. He had a huge dick. I hated it. <laughs> were you, were you it was traumatized? So embarrassing. What? Yes. Drama I was I traumatized. Can, I can imagine why you would be. So was my poor mother, I think. God, I hope they don't see this. And she had it in her. Oh, gee, I was thinking she of running in. I was thinking of running this as the clip tomorrow on breaking news. <laughs> and that's what happened last night. We talk about everything, don't we? Even the size of our parents' genitalia. You can hear us every night, by the way, Tuesday through Friday uh, on GabNet. Uh, you simply go to this address right here and you can see us at youtube.com forward slash Bolo Bennett forward slash live. You can also hear us on our GabNet channel at gabnet.net. And after the fact, we run the show on YouTube. We run it on uh, iTunes. We run it on my Facebook page. We run it on a live stream. Uh, we run it just about everywhere, as I say around town more than a cheap suit. I'm Alex Bennett. That's it for today. Have a nice day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.